Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of body systems. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. The diagram below shows the human digestive system. The first thing I would recommend my students to do is to label the different parts of the digestive system. So A is the mouth, B is the gullet, and C. C is the stomach. How about D? D is the small intestine, while E is the large intestine. And in fact, this organ over here, which is known as the anus, is also part of the digestive system. Now, another working I would advise my students to do is to label the organs where digestion takes place. Before we label, let me ask you a question. Does digestion take place in all the organs labelled here? No. Students need to know that digestion takes place at only three organs out of these six organs labelled. And what are the three organs where digestion takes place? Yes, that would be the mouth, the stomach, and the small intestine. So I've labelled these three organs as D, and this is to indicate that digestion takes place in this organ. Now, how about the other three organs, like the gullet, large intestine, and anus? Does digestion take place in these three parts? No. No digestion takes place at the gullet, large intestine, and the anus. Now, do you know why digestion only takes place at the mouth, stomach, and small intestine? This is because digestive juices are only produced or released at the mouth, stomach and small intestine. And in order for digestion to take place, digestive juices must be added to break down the food into simpler substances, causing the food to be digested. Now, let's look at the question. A. At which part A, B, C, D or E does digestion first take place? Basically, the question is asking for where does digestion begin? Yes, digestion begins at the mouth. And where does digestion end? Is it at the anus? No, remember, digestion only takes place at the mouth, the stomach and the small intestine. Out of these three organs, digestion ends in the small intestine. So back to the question, digestion first takes place at the mouth. But do we write mouth in this blank over here? No, remember the question said at which part A, B, C, D or E does digestion first take place. So according to our diagram, the mouth is part A. So answer is A. Part B, at which parts A, B, C, D or E are digestive juices added? Let's think about this. When digestive juices are added to the food, what process can take place? Yes, that's right. Digestion can take place. So basically, where digestive juices is also the same as asking where does digestion take place? place because digestion can only take place when digestive juices are added to the food. And what does the digestive juices do? They break down the food into simpler substances allowing digestion of food to take place. So back to the question, where are the digestive juices added? They are the organs where digestion takes place which is the mouth, the stomach and the small intestine. And once again, we have to be careful. Question says which part A, B, C, D or E. So mouth is A, stomach is C and small intestine is D. So answer is A, C, D. Next, the diagram below shows us an adult mouth. How do the teeth help us in digestion? What does our teeth do? Yes, our teeth chew food. 
by chewing our food, the food is chopped up into smaller pieces. So how do we phrase it? Chewing food helps to break the food down into smaller pieces. Now, some students tend to get confused on when to use smaller pieces and when to use simpler substances. The term simpler substances is only used when we talk about digestion. What is digestion? It is the process where digestive juices break the food down and they break the food down into simpler substances. But does the teeth do that? No, the teeth is just like a knife that chops our food into smaller pieces. And that's why when we answer this question, we need to say that the teeth chew food, which helps to break the food down into smaller pieces. So students have to be careful with the correct terms used in their answer. For digestive juices, we say simpler substances. For teeth, we use smaller pieces. But this is not a complete answer. We also need to explain how does breaking the food down into smaller pieces help us in digestion. So for this, let me explain using this diagram over here. So let's say we have this big chunk of food and we don't chop it up. The digestive juices will now only be able to be in contact with this area over here. But when now, if I chop the food down into smaller pieces, just like this, the digestive juices will not only be in contact with this area over here, but it will also be in contact with the insides. So it covers more area. So let me ask you a question now. Which diagram, A or B, would digestion take place faster? Yes, B, the one with smaller pieces. Why? Because when the food is broken down into smaller pieces, there would be more surface area in contact with the digestive juices and this allows digestion to take place much faster. Faster digestion. So let's write it down together in our answer. The teeth chew food which helps us to break the food down into smaller pieces. This increases the surface area of the food in contact with the digestive juices for faster digestion. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!